Hey everybody, John here with Milano Music Center in Mesa, Arizona. I'd like to talk about safely putting our trumpet in the case and pulling it out of the case, how to hold the instrument, parts of the instrument, how to assemble the instrument, and how to play the instrument. So let's look at that. There's a bunch of different kinds of cases out there. Some have zippers, some have latches. Some have the horn sit vertically, some horizontally. Most every case is going to have some kind of manufacturing information on the lid. Usually the lid section is much smaller than the body of the case. If you happen to be renting from us, we have our sticker on the case and that is on the lid. That's another way you can tell where the lid is. You always want to set the instrument down, lid up. So that way when we open it, it doesn't fall out. Some instruments simply sit in the case vertically and they'll have a spot for the mouthpiece. If you're not playing your instrument, please put it in the case. If you leave it on a chair, it'll get knocked off and it'll fall down. Always make sure the case is closed as soon as you put it in. That way when you pick it up, it doesn't fall out. This case has latches. The horn sits horizontally, so it sits like this in the case and you also have a spot for that mouthpiece. If you're not playing the instrument, put it in the case, close the case. So to take the instrument out of the case, you simply can reach right here and grab the trumpet like this. Even if it's sitting vertically, you can pull it out of the case like that. Before we talk about assembling the horn, let's talk about parts of the horn. Do you hear that sound? That's where the sound starts in our trumpet. This little spot right here is called the receiver. It goes into the lead pipe. The lead pipe then hits the tuning slide. It's a slide. It goes back and forth. We use that to tune up. Then it goes into this thing. This thing right here, this is called the valve block. So these are valves. And what happens is the air hits the valve block and it goes through the valves. Since this is the beginning of the horn, boom, that's the first valve, second valve, third valve. One, two, three. And then if we push valves down, it goes into slides. This is the first valve slide. It's the tubing that comes off the first valve. We also use that to tune up a little bit. Sometimes you have a saddle, sometimes you have a ring, sometimes you have a hook. This is the second valve slide. It slides as well. Comes right on out, but we don't really do that. We just leave it in. We don't have to make any adjustments on the second valve. On the third valve, we have a third valve slide and a finger ring. We use this to adjust intonation. These things right here, they're called condensation key or water key. And it's the empty condensation because when we play the instrument, warm air comes out of our body and it gathers inside the instrument and eventually it pools into condensation or moisture or simply water. And what you do is you squeeze the, the water key to let it out. So you lean the instrument down a little bit, let it out, shake it, or you'd lean the instrument down a little bit and blow it out. So we've got two condensation keys, one on the tuning slide, one on the third valve slide. The other component that we have on the instrument is our bell. And it comes out into this big, beautiful bell here that lets all the sound come out of the instrument. Now, let's look at how to hold it. I talked about grabbing it like this because you can pull it out of a vertical case or even a horizontal case. If you have it in your hand like this, we've got to get our thumb in the right spot. Well, this is that thumb saddle I was talking about. You might have one, you might not. But we've got to put our thumb in there. So we put our thumb in this spot, underneath the bell and the lead pipe, right in there, up against the first valve. That's where our thumb goes. Then our hand simply comes over here and it's going to wrap around this spot here. And one of your fingers is going to go into this finger ring. On some horns it has an adjustment so you can move that around so it maybe fits your hand a little bit better. So again, thumb in, fingers in, and now we're, we've got control of the instrument. We can hold the instrument with our left hand, it's great. So on this side you have this finger ring here. It's for our pinky, so it's a pinky hook, right? So we can get our pinky in that. And then we take our thumb and we put our thumb between the first and second valve up against the lead pipe. First, second valve in between them and then up against the lead pipe. Swing our pinky into the hook 
We have our hand like that, and look, we have three fingers. One, two, three. First valve, second valve, third valve. This is how we hold it. So we take our hand, thumb between first and second under lead pipe, finger in the pinky, one, two, three. The mouthpiece has several different components as well. We do have a rim that is part of the mouthpiece. That's the part that touches our lips. And then we have a cup, we have a throat, a bore, and a back bore. But the parts that you want to really concentrate on is the rim, the cup, and then the shank. That's the outside part that we're going to put into the trumpet. So we take the mouthpiece and put the shank into the receiver. We just set that in like that. Once it's in like that, turn it just a little bit to the right and it will snug in and that way it won't fall out. It's not going to fall out when we move the horn around. If you don't do that, it can fall out. And then when you go to take the mouthpiece out of the horn, you go ahead and turn it and remove it that way. Put it in, little turn to the right. We need to form what we call an embouchure. The embouchure is simply what our mouth is doing and the way our face is set up when we play. It's not hard. What we do is we think of saying the word mmm, like you, you just took a bite of something really good and it tastes great. And you go mmm. It's just simply your mouth is closed. Everything's kind of relaxed. Mmm. And then we go mmm, po. This happens. Your corners tuck in. So the corners of your mouth are going to be set up against your teeth here. And you go like that. Now your chin kind of goes flat. Mmm, po. And then you blow air through by closing your mouth again. Mmm, po. And that starts a vibration of your lips. So try that a few times. Then once you get the vibration, we need to kind of squeeze the lips a little bit more and think of the vibration only being in the very center of our lips. Mmm, puh. And this is the part that's vibrating. If that is not working for you, I've got another way that might work. So sometimes we get a little piece of food or something, especially if we eat like sunflower seeds or something kind of crunchy, we might have a little piece of something and it ends up on the very front of our tongue and we go, pff, pff. wow, did you hear that? That's almost the same th sound as, mm, puh, pff, pff. it's the same sound. The same thing is happening. So if you think about spitting out something, a little teeny tiny thing, pff, the corners, the chin, and then like that, you're going to get the sound. So let's see if we can make that happen on the trumpet. I'm going to take a breath like jumping in a swimming pool. I'm going to close my mouth and then I'm going to put the mouthpiece right in the center. It's going to be halfway up and down on the lips. So right where the lips open is right in the center of the mouthpiece. So we're forming kind of a bullseye. In other words, the very center of the target. You're putting it right in the middle. So let's try this. I'm going to go, mmm, puh, close my mouth, blow air. <clears throat> Whoa, I got kind of a sound out of there. Try that. Now, if that's not working for you, let's try the spit method. So what you do is you take a breath like you're going to jump in a pool. Breathe in, put the mouthpiece on, and then <clears throat> spit. Try it. Breathe in. Going to jump in a pool, mouthpiece on, close your mouth, ah! spit. Wow, I got a sound. Try that a couple times and see if you can get a sound on the mouthpiece. When we're playing the trumpet, we want to bring the trumpet to us. We got our, we got our, how to hold it and we bring it to us. We don't hold the trumpet up and go like this. You don't want to be slouching over. You don't want to be leaning back. You don't want to be playing for the ground. You want to be playing pretty much level, maybe a slight drop to the bell. Your arms, you don't want your arms in like this or out like this. Bring the trumpet to you. Your head is straight, not down, not back, just straight. Now we're going to go That's a start. But we got to make sure that the mouthpiece is securely on our lips. It has to be on our face so that the sound can actually 
really go through the trumpet. So when we put it to our mouth, I'm going to take my breath, close my mouth, I'm going to spit. Oh my gosh, that's huge. Let's do this one more time and see if we can get that tone to happen, okay? Breath, bring the horn to you, put the mouthpiece on our lips, right in the middle, close our, close our lips, and then spit. Wow, that's pretty awesome. Now when we do that, one of three notes may come out. That G in the staff, or that's lower probably using a little bit slower air to get that. That's a C below the staff. Or maybe even, wow, that's a C in the staff. So use this video to figure out what note you're playing. That way when you start to open your book and try and find where those notes are and what the pitch or the sound of the note is, you can use this video as a reference. So once you've gotten a sound a few times, let's look at playing that sound a little bit longer. We gotta take that nice breath like we're jumping in a pool, and then we gotta keep the buzz going. So we have to exhale like we're blowing out a birthday cake. Like, but with the buzz. Like that. So try and make that sound and make it go for a little while. Now let's put it on the horn. Here we go. I'm gonna take my breath, Put the mouthpiece on my mouth in the center, close my mouth, and then do my spit. Let's do that and then push a valve down. I'm gonna push the second valve. Let's try it. Whoa, wow, what just happened? Anytime we push a valve down, we're adding tubing. And when we push these valves, we're pushing either a little bit of tubing, some more tubing, or a lot of tubing, because this one's pretty big. What that does is it lowers the pitch we're playing. So let's try that again. Breathe in, close your mouth, put it on your lips, spit. Wow. Now you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do that same thing, and I'm gonna go a little bit longer, and I'm gonna push second, and then I'm gonna let second come up and push first, all at the same time, like that. Like second and then first, like that. Whoa, now we're playing the trumpet. So when we're sitting, the knees should be kinda of like over your toes. Bring the trumpet to you, don't come to it. Trumpet's almost level. It doesn't have to be perfectly level, but it should be up, not down. Arms, relaxed and out, not in, not up. Because when we do it like this, we can play cool, fun stuff. When you're all done practicing, there's a couple things to do before you put your instrument away. The first thing is we've got to empty the condensation. And we talked about the condensation or the water keys. Well, this is where we're going to use them. You press down third valve and squeeze or open the third valve slide condensation key, tip the horn down just a little bit, open it up, blow through it, that gets rid of the condensation that gathers in that third valve slide, and then our tuning slide condensation key, do the same thing. You're gonna open it up, tip the horn down a little bit, blow whatever's in there out of there. I like to close that tuning slide then we're gonna remove our mouthpiece. And as we learned, we turned it to the right just a little bit to snug it in. We're gonna turn it to the left to remove it. We're gonna set our horn in the case. And then we've got that spot for our mouthpiece. We'll put our mouthpiece inside, close that case up, latch it, and you're all good to go. I hope that information helps. If you have any questions at all, give us a call here at 480-827-1111.